am Dr. Luch Meri, Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. I am going to take the topic Hardware Virtualization, Virtualization of the CPU for the subject uh, CCS335 Cloud Computing. So first you have to know the implementation levels of virtualization. The virtualization is depicted in the diagram. Virtualization technology benefits the computer IT industries by enabling users to share expensive hardware resources by multiplexing VMs on the same set of hardware cost, virtual workspaces. An abstraction is an of an execution environment that can be made uh, dynamically available to the authorized clients by using well-defined protocols. So the if we reserving the quota, CPU, memory share, and the software configuration, operating system, and provided services. So implement on virtual machine. So abstraction of a physical host machine, hypervisor intercepts and emulates the instruction from the VM virtual monitor and allow the management of the virtual monitor. So the VMware and Zen you can implement it. Provide infrastructure API plugins to hardware and support structure. So virtual machine, so virtual machine uh, so it's a technology that allows virtual virtual machine, virtual monitor technology that allows virtual machine uh, to run on a single physical the machine, so virtual uh, machine monitor VMM is otherwise called as hypervisor. So, in the from the diagram, it's clear that it will be having the underlying hardware. Above that, will be having VMM, which virtual machine monitor or a hypervisor. So hypervisor uh, it can be classified as then hypervisor, VMware hypervisor, UML hypervisor, then all hypervisor. So many vendors are there. So, above that, it will be having a virtual machine. So uh, uh, in the with the above that, it'll be having guest OS. So it may be Linux or Windows or Nest BSD. So depending upon your uh, host machine. So virtualization in general, so uh, advantages it run operating systems where the physical hardware is unavailable. It is easy to create the machine and the backup is also easier. Software testing using clean stalls is also easier. So easy migration of a uh, virtual machine. We can run uh, legacy systems, debugging is easier. So what is the purpose and benefits of uh, virtual machine in cloud computing? It enables companies, you know, cloud computing is on demand. You can pay per, per use. So client can put their data on the platform instead of their own PC. They can put their application on the cloud. So cloud is a tr trusted third party. In uh, cloud computing, virtualization means to create a virtual version of the device or a resource. It may be a server, storage device, network, or even an operating system. It divides into resources into one or more execution environment. So in general, there are three types of virtual machine architecture. Before virtualization, the operating system manages the hardware. After virtualization, the virtualization layer is inserted between the hardware and the OS. The virtualization is responsible for converting portions of the real hardware into virtual hardware. Depending upon the position of the virtualization layer, there are several classes of VM architecture, namely hypervisor architecture, para virtualization, and host based virtualization, which is uh, discussed in the earliest topic. Earlier topic. So, hypervisor is a hardware virtualization technique. It allows multiple operating system called the guest to run on a host machine. This is called VM. We have two types of hypervisor bare metal hypervisor and the hosted hypervisor. So initially IBM hypervisor is a bare metal hypervisor. So it's like CPU memory and above. So all guest operating system above the hypervisor. Hosted hypervisor run over the host operating system. So second line of the hardware. Para virtualization. So see the diagram. So you have the uh, hardware and the hypervisor. Application para virtualized guest OS. It provides uh, special APIs requiring substantial operating system modification in user applications. So difference between full virtualization and para virtualization. In uh, full virtualization, the VM uh, where workstation applies full virtualization uses binary translation to automatically modify x86 software to replace critical instruction. So the for the full virtualization, the advantage is no need to modify OS. Disadvantage, binary translation on the performance. Para virtualization, the cost of maintaining the para virtualized OS is high. The improvement depends upon the workload. So, so we will see what is the virtualization of CP. A VM virtual machine is a duplicate of an existing computer system in which a majority of the virtual 
machine instructions are executed on the host processor in native mode. The sun privileged instructions of the virtual machine run directly on the host machine for higher efficiency. So the correctness and stability is also you have to take into consideration. These are the overheads. So the critical instructions are divided into three types: privileged instruction, control sensitive instruction, and behavior sensitive instructions. The CPU architecture is virtualizable if it supports the ability to run the VM's privileged instruction and unprivileged instruction in the CPU's user mode while the VMM runs in the supervisor mode. VMM will be running in the supervisor mode, so the CPU can be run in the user mode. So the privileged instruction including control and behavior sensitive instructions of a VM or executor, they are trapped in the VMM or hypervisor. In this case, the virtual machine monitor acts as a unified mediator for hardware access from a different virtual machines to guarantee, so how to mention, ensure the correctness and stability of the whole system. So not all CPU architectures are virtualizable. So risk CPU architecture, reduced instruction set computing, so can be naturally virtualized because all the Control and the behavior sensitive instructions are privileged instruction. X66, X86 CPU architecture are not primarily designed to support virtualization. Thank you.